hi this is the fourth video in the playlist where we've been looking at factorizing equations where we've got a coefficient of x squared so this particular case the two is the one that's causing us the problem you could do these by trial and error but it might be a little bit tricky there is a method that i tend to use for these sorts of equations and if you look at the rest of the videos in the playlist that will also give you more examples the way that we do it is we say two times minus 9 is going to give me minus 18. And then what I'm looking for is two factors of 18 that when I'm uh, minus 18, and when I multiply them together will make minus 18, and when I add them together will make positive 3. Okay, so I could choose something like 9 and 2, but that's not going to work for me because when I add those together, it's going to make 11 or 7. So in this particular case, I'm going to choose uh, positive 6 and negative 3 because they're the only two factors of minus 18 that when I add them together will make plus 3. Okay, hope that's okay for you. Please do have a look at the other examples as well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to rewrite the original equation. I'm going to write 2x squared and rather than writing plus 3x, I'm going to write plus 6x minus 3x and then minus 9 at the end. So those middle two terms are no different from that. If I gathered these together, I'm going to get positive 3x. Okay, and then the technique is to factorize the first two terms. Now, if I factorize those two terms, I'm going to get 2x and x plus 3. And then I factorise the second two terms. I'm going to factorise those for minus 3. And I also get x plus 3. OK, hope that's all right for you again. Please do have a look at the other examples if you're not sure. And then when I gather these two together, I'm going to get 2x minus 3. And then I have a common x plus 3 in brackets. So I can write it like that. And that is actually my factorization of this particular term. I hope that's been helpful to you. Please do add any questions if you're not sure. Um, I'll always respond to them in the comments. Subscribe to the channel and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.